Hi, in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to best utilize all of the incredible free features that GoFullPage has to offer. So if you wanna follow along, please go to gofullpage.com and we're gonna click on blog. This is a good example because it illustrates a point that you want to make sure that you scroll through the page that you're going to take a screenshot of before you take your screenshot with GoFullPage to make sure that all of the images are loaded and all of the content that you'd like to have appear are loaded before you take your screenshot. So scroll all the way from the top to the bottom to make sure everything looks exactly how you would like it to appear. Now you'd wanna also make sure that if there are any ads, banners, or pop-ups that you close out of all of those as well. So now that we've had our GoFullPage extension installed and pinned to our toolbar for easy access, all we have to do is come over here to our toolbar and click on this icon. It will open up a new tab where we're able to see this particular screenshot and the entire web page that we wanted to take the, the screenshot of. So all you need to do if you'd like to zoom in is click on this page. You can scroll down and see that everything is there before you save it to your desktop. You can go ahead and zoom out and let's go ahead and take a look at everything that we can do on this page. You can see that we have this ability to edit, so you can crop, edit, annotate, or export if you have a premium plan, which I'll go over in another video. But for a brief highlight, you can see that you can add different shapes, you can have different formatting, undo, redo, and more. For now, I'm going to show that you can report an issue if you go through any issues along the way here using this white flag. You can quickly delete this image and take another one. which will pop up here. You can also download this as a PDF and rename it. I'm gonna call this go full page blog and save. We can take a look at what that might look like on the other side. In a premium plan, you're able to make it to where this doesn't get cut off with smart splitting. You can also in both plans, change the size of the paper. So it could be A4, or it can be a US legal or US standard size, etc. We can also save this image as a PNG or a JPEG, and you can change the default settings as well. Let's call this go full page blog as well and save that to our downloads folder. And if we take a look at what that looks like, you can see that it saves it as an entire image here that you're able to zoom in or zoom out and do as you'd like. Now, the other thing we can do is we can go to files and see any other screenshots we've taken, and we can either download them again, delete them, or go to that particular link by clicking back to here. We can also go to options, which allows us to change our different defaults. So for example, we can change the image format. So for example, we have PNG or JPG. You can also change the paper size, as I mentioned before, from US letter to A4 to the full image and so on. As I mentioned, you can also enable smart page splitting if you have a premium plan and add the URL and date time if you have a premium plan. And then if you'd like to have this go to a specific directory under which your downloads save to your screenshots on your desktop, such as screen captures, for example, then you can do that here. You can also automatically show a save as dialog when downloading your screenshots. And then if it asks, that will ask you, ask where to save each file before downloading, then that will take priority over this particular uh, option. You can also make it to where you auto download the files rather than opening in a new window. And you can fit the copies to Google Doc limits. There are other permissions you can access as well here and these are all optional. That's it for today, and I'll see you in the next video.